So we'll visit the report area here on the bottom left, the navigation, and all of the reports are organized by record type into these gray folders. Each gray folder contains a template to help kickstart your report. So since we'd like to report on opportunities, we'll go into the opportunity report folder, and then here's your stack of templates. So they all have a different purpose. So I'll go over each one so you know what they're for. So the top template, opportunity report, this is your go-to report. This is the most broad in general. You also have activity reports. So activity reports would show emails, tasks, or events for that record type. You have an opportunity history report. This one's unique to opportunities. It's more like an audit. So you can see when updates were made. And then you have a linked items report. The linked items report is a really robust linked report that would even show you the zip code of a contact linked to an opportunity. So let's dive into this top one here. We'll go into opportunity report. And like I mentioned, we get you jump started with a template, but this is all completely customizable. So we set up some filters for you to show you that they're available, but let's actually start fresh by clearing some of the stuff out. So I'll just hover over these filters and remove them. And then same with these summary fields. I'll just remove them here. And then you have some columns already added. But if there's any columns that you don't need, feel free to completely remove it from the report. Like big currency, you can just click the X here to get rid of that column. And then you can also rearrange the order of the columns if you want to go ahead and just drag and drop the columns next to one another. On the left-hand side, these are all of the report fields that you can include in your report. And it's all via drag and drop. You even have these yellow folders here at the bottom that have your links. And then you also have your custom fields, which will be broken up by category. So let's take a look at all opportunities over $100,000 in value. So in order to narrow down the report so that it's only opportunities over 100,000, we need to add our filter here at the top. So once you add a filter row, you can choose the column that you'd like to filter by. So in this case, we're filtering by opportunity value. And we'll say opportunity value greater than or equal to 100,000. So one, two, three, and two more. Make sure we have the right amount of zeros. Okay, great. So we can go ahead and add that. So now we're only looking at opportunities over 100,000. What we can do next is make sure that we have all of the fields we need in the report. So if we would like to group by user responsible, we'll go here to the left-hand side and we'll drag and drop user responsible right into the middle of the report. So now it's included. We also wanted to see the opportunity owner. So we can go ahead and drag and drop owner name into the middle. You mentioned a couple other things like the category that's also available so we could look for category and if you ever can't find the field right away you can just search for it here at the top so we can drag that one in as well all right and then i know you mentioned probability that's also an available field so we can drag that one in as well all right so for grouping by responsible user, we'll want to drag and drop user responsible directly above itself. So anytime you wanna group a column, you're just dragging it up into this thin gray area. It turns into a plus sign. Now when we release, it will group it. So Ali has one, Amy has two, and so forth. So it gives you those nice totals there. So if we're looking at actual values, um, do, do we need a forecast? Because we can just remove date close forecast, which is this field. Or would you like to include forecast? It's, it's totally up to you. I'd like to forecast this close date. Okay. And then we have, um, we have the actual close date here. Now, are we only looking at open opportunities in this report? Because we can add another filter by state. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we'll 
remove date close actual since we're just looking at a forecast report. And then we'll go to our filter here at the top. And now we can filter by opportunity state equal to open. And then would you like to group it further by, by category? Yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll group by category by just dragging and dropping category right above here. So now we can see a group by not only responsible user, but the category as well. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add or anything that you wanted to see here? Does this look? No, look this looks good. Okay, perfect. So once your report is created, now you can save it. So if we go all the way to the top, you have your red save button. Once you click save, you can give the report a name. So we can call it opportunity forecast report, for example. And you can choose which folder it goes in. It can go into a personal folder, a shared folder, or a new folder. Where, where would you like this one saved? Personal for now. Okay. And then once you save it, you have a number of other options as well. So if you go to this run report button, you have an actions drop down. So if you ever needed to copy the report to create something similar, you can. You can edit the report, print it, or export it. You also have the option to schedule reports. So if you click the schedule button, you can have it emailed to yourself automatically at a particular frequency. So you can say who it's sent to and when, such as weekly on Monday morning. Now that your report is saved, you can access it easily anytime. So if you go back into the report area, you can go into the right folder, and then here are all of the reports that you've ever saved. Are there any other reports that you have in mind that you'd like to create together? No, that's fine. That was perfect. That's all I needed. If right. you wanted to uh, stop the recording and then do one on dashboards, that would be great. 